everybody, Anne here, and today we're going to try something totally different. I've got ants, and I've been doing a little experiment over the last couple days. I just stepped on that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the suggestion of somebody else. I'm going to put a shovel of these ants over in this ant pile and put a shovel of those over there and just see what happens. I'm thinking, guys. I think that this ant pile is dead. I've just been coming and stomping on it. I'm wondering if the ants, there's, see, there's just a few ants. Yeah, they're starting to come up. But just look at how great this soil looks. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to see if I can try that little war of the ants thing and uh, just see if I have less ant hills around here. Let me get one thing of dirt from over here and put it over here. And I saw a few ants over here. Let me get a thing of dirt from over here and put it over here. Let me get one more shovel full. All right, I put another, another shovel full there. That doesn't look like it has a lot of ants in it though, but um, it may just be that that ant hill from over there because I kept stepping on it and flattening it out came over here so I don't know if I just keep using that tactic if it'll work but all I know is these ants are annoying there's another ant hill over there I may just scoop up a, a shovel full of dirt from there and put it on that one really active mound whoa check them out they're mad they're coming to get me oh my goodness yikes my question is should I gather one more shovel full of this and put it over on that other one i don't know i'm just gonna see if this works because you know what this is probably like an urban legend one of those things that you tell stupid people to do so that they'll do it and you can point and laugh at them later <laughs> that's okay you're laughing with me not at me right the footage of the ant stuff that i filmed was done yesterday and it looks like they are still warring because well, first of all, it looks like the rival, the rival clan has pulled the eggs out of the nest. These weren't here yesterday. See those little white things? There, there, there. Those are eggs. And normally this time of the day, all of these ants would be down beneath the soil. And they are still out here kind of warring with each other um, earlier all right over here let's see right there by my finger they have captured I don't know if that's the well what they're doing is they are killing an ant and they were they are dragging it somewhere but it looks like they are still furiously see look Look right there. They are still fighting each other. So this theory that if you introduce foreign ants to a colony, they absolutely will fight each other. Right there. They are killing, killing off another ant. So I don't know if it's the, the new ants that are winning or the old ants. All I know is all these eggs wouldn't be out here if everything was happy. They would be underneath the soil. So I'm thinking that the rival clan has pulled those eggs out and uh, are going to do something with them. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep messing with these ants for a while though. I would surely love to get rid of them. It's two days after I started the War of the Ants, so I'm going to go over there and have a look before I let Betty out and see just what the, the result is. I did want to mention too, last night while I was on the phone talking to my parents, I went over and looked at the ant hill while I was on the phone with them and I'm trying to describe what's going on. And there were hundreds of thousands of dead ants laying on top of this mound that I'm going to show you next. I thought I had captured footage of it, but I didn't. 
so you're just going to have to take my word for it. So the method of introducing ants to a rival colony, yeah, they're going to go to war and they're going to kill each other, but is it going to solve my anthill problem? All is quiet on this here home front. It looks like all of those ants that were dead or dying have been probably pulled into the colony. All of those eggs, I don't know if they were pulled back into the colony and are going to be allowed to hatch or if they ate them, I don't know. But you can see that there are very few ants venturing out and it looks like they have already started to rebuild this colony. And so, <laughs> well, that was interesting. All of those ants that were right in this area are all gone now. So let me, let me take a look at this other mound. Pretty much the same over here. All of the ants have kind of gone back under just like they normally do this time of the day. You can see some fresh soil that has been built up. And <laughs> you know what I think? I don't think that setting ants at war with one another is a good solution to anthill destruction. I think what happens is that the ants just basically take over the old colony and they are already starting to rebuild their new colonies here. So although this has been a fun experiment, it is not a good way to get rid of anthills because just another tribe will take over. So I'm going to try some other methods over the next few days. I'm going to try the boiling water. I've heard uh, that using vinegar, you, that will work, um, and various other things. So I'm going to try them. Honestly, these ant hills, and they're all over my property. They, there are several on the little ledge behind me over here. And I've noticed on my property that there are little trails that lead up to each of the ant hills. So I don't mind the ant hills that are, you know, located behind me over there or maybe way off in the distance over there. What I'm concerned with are the ant hills that are close to my property. Like this one, right by where the dog run is attached, because Betty can get into that and once you step on it, they will come after you. They will definitely come after you. And this one as well because Betty likes to go back and forth between these trees. So it's not my goal to eradicate every single ant on this property. I just want to get rid of the big ant hills in these two spots so that they don't bother my dog. I'm also going to be trying some methods to keep the ants away from the tiny house. And basically what you have to do, you have to, well, repel them for one, but you want to kind of put a halt to the scent trail. Um, because when they skitter around the ground or across your countertop or whatever, they're all leaving a scent for the other ants to, to then come follow. So I am going to create some kind of concoction to spray around the tiny house uh, at any point in which they could crawl up and want to enter. And then I'm going to be looking around on the ground in various places to see where the little ant trails, they're, they're very easy to identify. It's just little disturbed trails of clay that go all the way up to the ant hill. I'm going to see if spraying those down with this mixture of vinegar and whatnot will help stop that so that they aren't by my fire pit, they aren't going through where the rocket stove is, and I've got two ant trails through both of those things. So that is probably what I'm going to do. The smart people in my comment section have left me a number of useful and well-documented ways to get rid of these ants. There's boiling water, there is diatomaceous earth, I hope I said that right, there's um, borax, borax, boric acid powder. There is the vinegar solution. I guess you use white vinegar. Um, I've heard cornstarch to smother. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I think what I'm going to start with is the vinegar solution. 50-50 vinegar. Spray it over the ant trails wherever I see them near the tiny house and hopefully that will be enough to destroy the scent so that they won't be tracking from one huge mound to another. 
and the big mounds I'm gonna leave them but I just don't want them inside the tiny house so far I've had no ants inside the tiny house and also it suggests that you spray the solution around any entry point so I'll have to go around the steps the uh, center blocks that hold the tiny house up and of course their trails so I don't know. Wish me luck, guys. And that's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.